The next thing we're gonna learn about circles is how to find the area of a circle. Just like the area of the polygons and other figures that we found the area of, your area is everything on the inside. Please excuse the interruption, but I need the following eighth graders to report to the office. Davina Valdez, Jordan Walter, Roshana Paloa, Amanda Stetler, David Jones, Jacoby Chalmers, Gage DeMarco, and Caitlin Manilov. Davina Valdez, Jordan Walter, Roshana Paloa, Amanda Settler, David Jones, Jacoby Chalmers, Gage DeMarco, and Caitlin Manilov. Please report to the front office. So again, the area of the circle is everything on the inside. The formula for the area of the circle is right here. So it's different than your circumference. Okay, the area of a circle equals pi, which is what again? 3.14 times your radius squared. Who can tell me, explain to me what radius squared means? Marcus? You forgot, Zane? Very good. This means radius times radius. Okay, it's not radius times two. That means whatever the radius is, you're gonna multiply it by itself, and then you're gonna multiply it by pi. Because remember, following your order of operations, exponents come before multiplication. So this is gonna be done first, and then the multiplying by pi, you have to do second. Yes? I don't know what symbol it is. I would say it's Greek too. 16, huh? Yeah. It's a piece of information I did not know. Okay, so pi times radius squared. Does everybody have that written down? That's super important. You're going to need that formula, okay, especially for tomorrow when we do scavenger hunt. All right, so here are some examples. They happen to be the same circles that we just found a circumference of. So we'll do two together, and then I'll have you do the last two on your own, okay? So what piece of information do we need to find the area? We need the radius. What piece of information did we need to find the circumference? The diameter, okay? So you need to make sure you have the right piece of information. So go ahead, and if you just want to write around the first one, because you guys already draw, drew this in your notebooks, you can draw it again if you want to. So if I have a circle with a radius of three centimeters, is that the piece of information that I need? Yes, yes because I need the radius in here. So I'm just going to write this out first. So I have pi, which is 3.14, times my radius, which is what? three, and then I have to square that. So here's my formula just written out in numbers instead of symbols up here. So following order of operations, what do I do first? Very good, I have to do three times three. Three squared does not mean three times two, it means three times three, you do it twice. What's three times three? Nine. Nine. So this now becomes 3.14 times nine which you know how to do. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna erase this and set it up under here. So let's do this together. What's nine times four? Put the six, carry the three, make sure you're writing this with me. Nine times one, plus three. Oh, 12. Put the two, carry the one, and then nine times three, plus one, 28. So we count our decimals, we have two here, zero here, so two all together, one, two, there's our decimal. Here's our answer, but our units, when we get back into area, remember when we do area, it's our units squared. So my final answer is 28.26 centimeters squared. Questions on how we got that? So finding the area is a little more complicated because we have a squared in there. Um, but as long as you follow your formula, you should be fine. It gets a little more tricky when they give you the diameter because we need to find the radius. So just like we did yesterday, let's jump over here to the second one. We have pi times our radius squared. Well, right now, our information is the diameter. 
But remember, the diameter is made up of how many radii? Two. Two. We have one here and one here. So if the whole thing is eight, what's half of eight? Four. four. So that means our radius equals what? Our radius equals four, but then what do we have to do, Chantel? No, not by two. Times itself. So when we go through and do this, and Chantel, what was that? 16. So we have pi, which is 3.14, times our radius, which is 4 squared. And Chantel did that part for us. 4 times 4 is 16. So our problem now becomes 3.14 times 16. Does everybody see where that came from? So I'm going to bring the 16 down here and multiply. Help me out with this one with 6 times 4? 24. 24. So we're going to put the 4 and carry the 2. 6 times 1? Plus 2? 6 times 3? 18. 18. And then we have a placeholder. We're done with the 6. 1 times 4? Four. 4. 1 times 1? Four. 1 times 3? Three. 3. Add these for me. Five, good. And then counter decimals, we have two here, zero here, so two all together. So I'm going to go one, two, put my decimal, and then what am I going to do for my units? Meters squared. Very good. Questions on that one? Go ahead and take about three minutes to go ahead and do these last two examples on your own then. Make sure you're using the information that we need. Let's walk through these. This first one here, what piece of information did they give us? The radius. Is that what we need? Yes, because our formula is pi times our radius squared. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and square this right here. What's 6 times 6? Oh, 36. Okay, remember this is not 6 times 2. This means 6 times 6. So since we've already squared it, we're just going to multiply it by pi. Remember the one with the most digits goes on top, times 36. And who can raise your hand and tell me what you got for this one? Jamie, what would you get? 113.4? Zane? 0 0.04? Inches squared. Do we agree with this one? Jamie, you must have missed a zero in there. See if you can find it. I'm not going to go through the multiplication part. Uh, are we okay with this one? Yeah. Are we okay with where the 36 came from? Yes. All right. The next one, and this one's going to get a little bit tricky because they gave us what piece of information? They gave us the diameter, so we need to find a half of that. What's half of nine? Trevon? What is it? Nope, it's not three. Zane? It's 4.5. And if you don't know that off the top of your head, that's okay. You need to divide it by 2 then. 9 divided by 2, you're going to need a decimal and a 0. How many times does 2 go into 9? 4. 4 times, because that's 8. Subtract, get 1, bring down the 0. And how many times does 2 go into 10? 9. There's the 4.5. Okay? Now the tricky part of this is we need to square this, which means we need to do 4.5 times 4.5. So I'm going to quickly walk through this. We have 25, carry the 2. 20 plus 2 is 22. Placeholder, 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. And then we add these, 5, 2, 10, 2. And then we have 1, 2 to the right of the decimal, so 1, 2. And that's 20.25. Does everybody get that far? So that's taking our radius squared, but we're not done yet because we still have to multiply that by pi. And in this case, pi goes on the bottom because it has less digits. So we need to multiply this now, okay? If I were to estimate this, what's 20 times three? 60, so our answer is gonna be a little bit above 60. So help me out with this one. Four times five, 20, four times two, 8 plus 2 is 10, 
4 times 0 plus 1. 1. And then 4 times 2. 8. So we're done with this one. We need a placeholder. 1 times 5. 1 times 2. 1 times 0. 1 times 2. Good. We're across this one out, and now we need two placeholders. 1, 2. Now we can multiply. 3 times 5. 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 2. 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 times 0. 0, and then 3 times 2. 6. This is a big one. Add these together for me. 0, 5, 8, 8, 5. 15, so we'll carry the 1. 15, 3, 3, 6. Woo! All right. And then we need to come all the way back right here and count our decimals. How many are to the right of the decimal? 4. 2 here. 2, two, two. two here. Four. So 4 all together. 1, 2, 3, 4 is my answer somewhere around 60. Yes, it is. We can get rid of this 0 on the end. Add in our units, and that's a big one. Okay, so 63.585 feet squared. Questions on that one? That's a tough one. We have a few minutes left. I want you guys...